This is not to be used to resell or to give away to friends. First, you have to go to dvddecryptor.org.uk, download it, hit save through no viruses or anything. I've put it on multiple computers. XP and Vista, both works. After you download that, install it. Just go to DVD Decryptor. Open this up. It's going to go find your disk drive. You choose your region. Since I'm in the US, I'm going to click US. And right now I'm just going to use Rat Race as a test. Okay. This, I already have my settings set, but when you first install it, change your mode to IFO. And then go to Tools, Settings, IFO Mode. Make sure st Enable Stream Processing is checked. And then make File Split and None. Click OK. After that, your video might re re reload after you change the settings. I forgot. You go to Stream Processing. Now, to make your video smaller, which most people like I just get rid of the subtitles all the non-English audio so I have two channel English and six channel English in the video so I pretty much have all that Look input check everything make sure the drives right and I'm just gonna I'll put this to my desktop you can change whatever folder you want and all I have to do is click this and it's ripping and it should take on my laptop it smacks read only goes up to four times right here it takes about 15 20 minutes maybe on my laptop on a normal desktop drive it might take t 10 minutes 15 or less probably minutes to rip a DVD and get back to you after okay so now I have 50 seconds left take about 20 minutes to rip this entire DVD uh, quickly I'm going to show you that VLC is a free open source media player it pretty much plays every video file you could ever think of you just type in VLC into Google download it and this will play the output of DVD files. This is almost done. High as it went was 4.1x, and my and this comes up, plays some weird random music. And yeah. My friend's computer got up to 16 times speed, so about 4 times faster. So about 10 minutes, I think, his took to rip one of his DVDs. So, and then you have this. It comes out with these two files. Actually, these three files. The really only file I th you need is this one. You can just delete the other two. As far as I know, it doesn't do anything. Right now, write rate is equal to 4.87 gigs. Uh, that's pretty much the size of the DVD. And then all you have to do is double click on this. Oh, actually, I'm going to open it. I have it set to power DVD. But I'm going to open it with VLC. It opens. And there's the video playing off my hard drive. Close that. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to. You go to here. It's called video. B I D E O R. Video. Uh, Mr. D. Video Aura. If you have an iPod, you just download this. And it would read the VOB file, which is what this is, is a VOB VOB file. I have it right here. 
we did or of this program okay and you uh, customize your settings I recommend for iPod touch iPhone etc um, use this you won't notice any difference of it is and this is just gonna be a larger file it's, you're not gonna notice any difference I recommend doing two password movies if you're encoding the YouTube videos, that's fine. Two pass just takes a lot longer. And I recommend using H.264 over MPEG4. The quality looks exactly the same, but the encoding time is like 50% faster on H.264. Just do that. And I'm going to go here. I have it. Just the auto select. So you select my file on my desktop desktop this file I would just open that and just click start converting make sure you have the right settings or you can click that then click on the file and automatically start then once it's done you would have the video ready to transfer to your iPod in and out good thing about this program video or automatically um, automatically import to your iTunes library so you don't have to import it yourself which is very useful that's pretty much how you rip a DVD to your iPod to your computer as backup so you can take with you instead of having to take the disc and risk it being ruined so you can like re-burn it but shouldn't re-burn it this you can just like put it on a hard drive and watch whenever that's pretty much it.